That is what it is. It is Yo Girl Cadillac. Yes, I'm Cadillac Dixon. I'm the Draw My Life Prison Wife. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice. <sighs> Hoping, girl, to see justice before all face to black. Yes, hiss your girl, Cadillac. Anyways, I am coming through today, February the 15th, almost 4 p.m. Yes, thank God I got off of work early. I am so tired, y'all. I am super tired. Um, I made the long trip yesterday back. Um, and then we kind of, um, I wanted to unpack everything because I did not want to do that later. Um, and then I went walking. Me and Money kind of went to the store. We did another store haul because she wanted to check out this place called um, Pop Show. A new place that's really cool. I got that uh, vlog. If I hadn't released that, it's going to be released really soon. But um, on the drive, well, really that night before, Jordan the Chosen One. Y'all know I just did a Project Reach the World um, drawing for him, which if you don't know what Project Reach the World, I have a full, long, drawn-out video, but you're going to enjoy it because it includes almost every... Um, genre of art that I do. I'm a multi-talented artist. I'm a writer, uh, um, a rapper. I'm a spoken word poet. I'm a hairstylist, hair artist. I'm a graphic designer. I, I paint charcoal. I, I use charcoal pencil. Um, my paints is acrylic. I, I, I could do oil, but girl, I ain't got time for that. <laughs> I might break down and do an oil painting because it does take forever. I'm an author, illustrator, such and such, 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 et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Like, girl, I do way too much. And um, everyone thinks that's like why I've never really made it. Um, it is very challenging trying to niche all the way down because I love all my passions like the same. But one of my biggest passions is justice so it is a fusion of all my artwork as my um saying is on my channel i use all my art forms to get through all my dark storms um and during the storm when my husband was wrongfully convicted excessively sentenced and snatched away from the house and i became a single mother by force not choice overnight girl the way that I expressed all these emotions that did nobody want to hear, did nobody want to sit and be like, well, can I help you out and this and that? I had to go through this long, dark, lonely, um, depressing, anxious road by myself. So um, now that I've done all of that, I use my art to one, try to break my husband's wrongful conviction and get him home, put our family back together. And then two, I'm going to continue it to help others because I know my husband is not the only one wrongfully imprisoned. See, our system is set up very good to avoid prosecuting the wrong people. The problem is the people that run the system want to take way too many shortcuts. They just want to fill quotas. They just want to get to verdicts like in a, a hop, skip, in a, a hop. What is it? Skip, hop, in a whatever. They want to do it too fast. They don't want to take all the steps that are necessary to ensure that you're incarcerating the correct person. You know, um, they don't do that. They skip too many corners and then nobody cares and nobody holds them to doing that. Right. So they're just when a case is open, it is basically like a debt was um, taken out and now somebody has to pay. Don't care who, but somebody going to pay. So um, that's basically what Project Reach the World is. I just did one not too long ago of Jordan, the chosen one. I get a lot of inspiration from him. Right. So you would be like because he's the first one to say almost exactly what I want to say through my um, journey of trying to break my um, husband's long. Girl, I'm so sleepy. I can't even say what I'm trying to say. My husband's wrongful conviction through all these years, it's really pissed me off that nobody supports me. Um, I'm getting support now from um, a few people. But you know what's so crazy? All of y'all literally in real life are strangers to me, the ones that are supporting me. My family 
will not support me. They will not support um, my art because it's concerning him, like, which is really dumb to me because if I had a, a family member as gifted as I am, which I do have family members that are gifted. And every time they've needed my support and help, I do help them, but it's never reciprocated to me. Um, I don't keep friends because I'm a loner because I don't like fake people. Like, if you don't like me, just express that you don't like me. Don't act like you like me, but then behind my back is all of this. And I don't have time for that, girl. We all way too old for that, but people love to continue those childish ways. Marcello, his family has not helped me at all. I would think they would have helped because, I mean, he they knew him way longer than me. They actually have the same blood and DNA and everything, but they don't too much care i think the minute his life was taken when he was taken out the picture they just continued on with life like nothing happened <laughs> like nothing happened and girl i i actually used to live with his family so i seen it did not affect anybody but myself i was the only one trying to figure this out figure that out which i always felt if i can get a group of maybe five to ten people with my family and his family together we could have gotten him free it wouldn't have had to go this far, but by it being all on my shoulders, the whole weight I have to carry alone, it's taking forever. So Jordan, the chosen one is the first one that I've ever heard say your so-called family, because family, real family, when I hurt, baby, it hurts you too. It hurts you to see me hurt. You're not able to just be all comfortable knowing that I'm hurting the way that I am and that I need help. And you're like, oh, wow, Kita needs help. I could easily help her by sharing or I could easily help her, by, but I'm not going to lift a finger. But when I need help, I'm going to be the first one to call her and she's going to come through. So he was the first one to ever express that. And I'm like, that's exactly how I feel. Fake family, so-called friends. Um, anybody that made it in life, I'm sure the first supporters after yourself is your family and friends that's your network but my network just leaves me hanging for the most part so i really love that that's what got my attention and got me just watching his videos he's very inspirational but now he has a story time which i was listening to that day before we left um because you know marcello just graduated um in prison we were able to attend go on the compound and actually see my baby walk across that stage yes and it was so ironic that that night i watched a video by um, jordan the chosen one and he is saying that he was wrongfully accused and had they not found the right person he could have easily been off to jail. And I'm telling you, it is that easy. People do not believe me. They swear I'm sitting up here lying. I ain't got, who would continue alive for 21 years? I would have been let this ish go if it was a lie. If it, 21 years, I ain't got 21 years of my life to spare like that if, if he was not really wrongfully convicted. So let's go ahead and listen to some of it. I don't have a lot of time left on here. So as always, I will link the full video from Jordan, the chosen one, and my project Reach the Worlds from Jordan, the chosen ones in the description box below. And also what is project Reach the World and see all y'all I'm doing YouTubers now, but it started with famous people. See all the famous people. I've gotten my artwork and Marcello's story too. Yes. Okay, so here it goes. By its cover. For it's the anointing. You never judge a book by its cover. For it's the anointing you gotta watch out for. Yeah. You're in the presence of a divine being. Shout out to the WTC family. WTC gang. We it's still the chosen WTC the gang. WTC Welcome is to the we the chosen ones. Welcome to that Shaq and Kobe content. That back to back to back content. <laughs> I need every chosen vessel to hit that like button right now. I'm gonna tell you why hit you should never like judge a too. book by its It'll cover. Help me. Open up the book and read it first, chosen ones. Let me tell you something. We're living in our last and evil days where mm. people would judge you based on your outer appearance. People would judge you by the clothes you wear. 
People will judge you by the car that you drive. The skin too. Judge People will judge you by the house that you live in. But I'm here to tell you right now, it's the anointing that's on the inside of you they need to watch out for. Mm. It's the you glow don't really know. they need to watch out for. You don't really know a person till you know the person. You cannot look at me and just know me. Oh, she's a black woman, so I know how she is. No, you don't. No, you don't. Judge by the heart, the character. Understand what I'm saying? It's the unmerited favor that people need to watch out for. Let me tell you what recently just happened. I walk into this store and I was falsely accused of something that I didn't do. Mm. I was falsely identified for something that I did not do. And it is very... Uh, most of the wrongful convictions, they arrive from false identification. Someone saying, yes, that's the person. When something happens so quick, sometimes if you're not really paying attention, you kind of get a vague description of the person. But you, if someone vaguely fits that same description... You could think that's them. You don't know that you're going to see this person again and 100% know that, yes, this was the person that did this. So as you listen to this story, you'll see. That's why evidence really does need to um, be in a case. There is no evidence in Marcello's case. There needs to be evidence that supports um, the fact of this person being the person that committed um, whatever alleged crime, you know. Because a person could do a whole lifetime behind a wrong ID. And I've never seen a wrongful conviction take less than 10 years to overturn. So even if you do get out one day, it's going to take you 10 to 15 to 21 years. They've gotten 21 years out of Marcello wrongfully. And the case is like on hold until I can get... It, it shouldn't be on me to have to break this story. It shouldn't have to be this way. I gave my life. My life could have been served in a whole different way, but I, I, I guess this must have been my calling. But I could have been doing a whole lot other stuff rather than sitting up fighting when they should have got it right the first time. Too many things said he wasn't And I advise you, person. children, I went into the store, I had a mask on, I had a hoodie on, and I was low key. Understand what I'm saying? And this lady came into the store and pointed at me in front of everybody and said, hey, there that guy right there. Mm. And I'm looking at this lady while she was pointing at me. I'm like, what are you talking about? <laughs> she said, aren't you the guy that just got pulled over by the police? She said, I knew it was you. I'm like, what are you talking about? She said, the police just pulled somebody over. It looks just like you. But I advise you, Chosen, I had the, my hoodie on. I had my face mask on. And I was low key. You wouldn't even know who I was. But to make a long story short, and a short this woman story long. <laughs> falsely identified me as somebody else that just got pulled over by the police. Mm. Sweetheart, number one, I don't even know you. Number two, you don't even know me. And it's sad how people will identify you by the clothes that you wear. It's sad that people will judge you by the materialistic things that you have. But little do they know. The way they ID Marcello was a black guy with dreads. You know, that loosely vague description. I actually got another story time that I need to do when I was in college. And a guy ran on campus with a weapon. And it was so crazy that they were like, oh, the, the description that they gave, the guys that were in the class was scared because they're like, that fits all our description. What if they come in here thinking we're the ones that did it? And it's not. We're in class. But yeah, so those vague descriptions can fit anybody. I'm a black woman with dreads now, but I'm sure or locks. I'm, I'm sure there's many other black women 
with locks, with dreads. Like, you need a better description than that. Lauren Hill got dreads. Erica Badu got dreads. Do they look alike? Like, that's crazy. But you can easily get swept up in that generalization. It's the anointing they got to watch out for. So the minute when she said that, she said, hey, you just got pulled over by the police. I know you pointing fingers at me. Mm -hmm. And I advise you, the police was right outside. You know what I said? I immediately plead the blood of Jesus against that lady. I said, the mm. blood of Jesus against you. Wow. I said, the blood of Jesus is against you. And the dude that was with her, he looking at me like, what's going on? She said, no, 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 no. She said, you just got pulled over by the police. You got the whole outfit on that that guy had on. I said, lady, I just walked up into the store. You don't know me from a can of paint. Mm-hmm. With that, with that negative spirit you got coming in here looking like Oprah Winfrey. He said, if Oprah you don't get out of my face, <laughs> now which Oprah Winfrey in jail is nowadays it? because the they one that be all put together of something they didn't do. You'd be yeah. surprised how many people are in jail is because they was falsely identified as somebody else. Come to find out, they weren't even a person. Mm. Yeah. Come to find out that that person that they just got accused of something. Guess what? That had nothing to do with the case. And that's crazy. Um, you know, the, we believe a lot of the things that we see on TV to be true, believe them to be, oh, this is the way that the system actually works. Um, to be honest with you, m- more than half of us don't know the system at all. And we have no clue of how it really, truly works at all. We are completely oblivious to it, which... The reason I can say this is because I was the same way, completely oblivious. I assumed it was working correctly. I assumed that's for bad people. I'm not a bad person. I don't commit crimes. So what does that have to do with me? I felt the same exact way. So if you feel that way, I personally do not blame you. They condition us to feel that way. That way we're not interested in it. We don't care about it. We don't stand up and voice our opinions about it because it does. we think it does not concern us. My eyes were quickly opened up when the situation decided. It was the determining factor of whether I was about to get married to the man of my dreams, have our daughter, and live happily ever after, or... I was going to be thrusted into single motherhood, struggling, barely making ends meet, never sleeping, having to work overnight so that I can t- take care of our daughter because I have to withdraw her from child care because her father was paying child care. Her father was taking care of her. Her father was actually in our lives and helping right so little did i know it did affect me it it i should have been so but it opened my eyes quickly so when there is a crime they're not doing like on tv lining them all up in the person they're making sure the person knows 100% that's the person um they're not doing that usually it's a flash of a picture is this the guy or they bring you somebody by the by the call is this the guy yeah, yeah, that's the guy. That's him. All it takes is one finger to point at you and say that you did it. And in the case of my husband, Marcello Jackson, the guys that said he allegedly robbed them of 80, I mean, $60 because they were allowed to amend it once they found out how much Marcello really had on them by the officer, the arresting officer allowed them to do that because they wanted to make sure that the money coincides in the lives. That was red flag number one, that this is not the guy. Right. But they didn't care about that. They made Marcello fit. They like jammed him in that spot like a puzzle piece that didn't fit. and was like, this is it. So don't believe they play through everything that they're supposed to like they do on TV. They don't do that in real life. Now they got to face jail 20, 25 years. Mm-hmm. See, this is what I'm trying to say, chosen ones. Why this lady basically trying to judge me on my outer appearance? Honey, you don't even know me from a can of paint. If I take off this... And, and especially, let it be a black person. They're going to... 
if you accuse Ombretti, they're thinking you guilty. It's been many times. The police that put me over talking about when the last time I've been in jail. Baby, I ain't even got a record. You meant for visitation? Because I ain't got no record. And he felt real salty. But I guess I look like somebody that frequent flyers jail, I guess. You take off this mask, you're going to see that you're in the presence of a chosen one. You're going to see you in the presence of a divine one. So when I immediately plead the blood of Jesus against her, guess what? She shut up real quick. I said, the blood of Jesus. <laughs> That's all I said was the blood of Jesus against you. I said, I'm covered in the name of Jesus. I said, no, lady, you, you thought wrong. I said, I'm covered in the name of Jesus. <laughs> and I said it with power. The police was outside. Now the police starting to fuck with something you didn't do based on your outer appearance. Understand what I'm saying? Touch me on my outer appearance. Mm -hmm. Honey, you don't even know me from a can of paint. If I take off this hoodie and take off this mask, you're going to see that you're in the presence of a chosen one. Mm -hmm. You're going to see you in the presence of a divine one. So when I immediately plead the blood of Jesus against her, guess what? She shut up real quick. I said, the blood of Jesus with her, right? He was like, yeah, man, you covered, man. You covered in the blood of Jesus. He looking at me like, man, that's really a divine being right there. You can tell I went outside. Tell me when I went outside, the police was outside. Now the police starting to false identify me and false accuse me. I hmm. said the devil is a liar. The lady, and she go back to saying, yes, yeah, him, yes, yeah, him, pointing at me. How could the police falsely um, accuse him if they the ones that literally just, they just said the police pulled you, right? Um, how they not saying, oh, this the same guy I just pulled over. They should know whether he was the right one or not. So look at this devil and come to find out the guy that they, uh, that they pulled over Amen. Came back to the scene. Had the same fucking hoodie on as I had. Now, let me tell you, Marcello, the arresting officer in Marcello's case, um, years later, he and four other officers were accused of over outing somebody. They made up this whole story. Um, everybody's story conflicted. All five officers had different stories, but they were saying why if they had already pound and the guy was on the ground, why the excessive over outing? 50 times they pound this person, the same officer. And when they were asked, why did they do this? They had different stories, all different stories. Okay, so if he did that, he and four other officers did that to this man, what makes him so upstanding that he wouldn't wrongfully arrest and convict and make it stick that Marcello Jackson did an attempted alleged robbery of 80 I mean $60 then he lied as well he said he seen Marcello come out of the club they refused to give us the surveillance but he claimed he he viewed Marcello come out the club but you can't because that street curves and there's trees and blockage you cannot see straight down that street but that police must have been super superman he could see through trees he could see through all of this obstructing his view and see that it's marcello jackson i'm out of time hissy a girl cadillac